Hello friends welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. I have prepared another nice video for you. I hope you like it. Knem, Knemu. Kenmu. Kenmu. Chnem was one of the most ancient gods of Egypt whose worship is thought to have been popular as early as the pre-dynastic period. References from the pyramid texts of Unas confirm that his worship was long established even at that early stage in the old kingdom Pharaoh Khufu, the builder of the Great Pyramid, was actually called Knim Khufu, Knim is his protector. However, it seems that the cult of Ra, or Re, rose to dominance at that time and Knem was pushed to the sidelines as Khufu's son and grandson, Khafri and Menkari, both took names honoring Ra. Knem was originally a water god who was thought to rule over all water including the rivers and lakes of the underworld. He was associated with the source of the Nile, and ensured that the inundation deposited enough precious black silt onto the river banks to make them fertile. The silt also formed the clay, the raw material required to make pottery. As a result he was closely associated with the art of pottery. According to one creation myth, Knim molded everything on his potter's wheel, including both the people and the other gods. In Anit, Asna, in the third gnome of Upper Egypt, it was proposed that Knim also created the first egg from which the sun was born, as Nefertum. Atom or Ra. As well as creating the body and the care, spirit, of each newborn child. He could bless the child. The West Car Papyrus from the Second Intermediate Period includes the story of Khufu and the magician in which the birth of three pharaohs is attended by Isis, Nephthys, Maskanid, Pekit, and Gnam. After each child was born, Gnam gave them the gift of health. The pharaoh Hatshepsut also claimed that Knem had formed her can given her the blessing of health at the request of her father Amun-Ra. Knem was also a protective deity of the dead. Spells invoking the assistance of Knem can be found in the Book of the Dead and on many of the heart scarabs interred with the dead because it was thought that he would help the deceased obtain a favorable judgment in the halls of Mat. The ram was considered to be a very potent animal, and so Knem was associated with fertility. He makes an appearance on the famine steel found on Sail Island. The steel, which was allegedly inscribed during the reign of Jusser, tells that the pharaoh dreamed that the god would deliver the country from a terrible famine if a temple was built in his honor. The pharaoh immediately consecrated a temple to Knem, and as promised the famine came to an end. Knim was one of the gods who was thought to have helped Ra on his perilous nocturnal journey through the underworld. 
It is also believed that he created the boat which carried Ra and helped defend the sun god against the serpent Apep, Apathis. Yet, he was sometimes considered to be the Ba of Ra, because the word for Am in Egyptian was also Ba. When Knim was merged with Ra to form the composite deity Knim Ra this deity was associated with Nun, who represented the primeval waters. And given the epithet Happer, Great Nile or Nile of Heaven. His cult was centered on the island of Abu, Elephantine first gnome of Upper Egypt, where he had been worshipped since the early dynastic period. During the New Kingdom he was worshipped there as head of a triad, with his wife Satet and his daughter Rainukit. He was also worshipped at Isna, Unit, where he was thought to be married to both Manhet and Nebtu a local goddess, and to be the father of Haker, god of magic known as he who activates the car. He was also thought to be the husband of Neith Atasna. In Antino, Hawa, he was married to Hikit, the frog goddess associated with childbirth and conception. He was associated with Hirsch Effort Heracleopolis Magna and was often linked to Osiris. He was sometimes associated with Isis to represent the Upper Egypt, just as Tartanen was associated with Nephthys in representing Lower Egypt. His name derives from the root Knum. To join. To unite. And with Knum. To build. Astronomically, the name refers to the conjunction of the sun and moon at stared seasons of the year. Knum was the father of fathers and the mother of mothers of the Pharaoh. As a water god he was sometimes named Keb, meaning purify. Knim was depicted as either a ram, a man with the head of a ram, or a man with the horns of a ram. He was, very rarely, depicted with the head of a hawk indicating his solar connections. He often wears the plumed white crown of Upper Egypt and was sometimes shown as holding a jar with water flowing out of it indicating his link with the source of the Nile. During the early period he was depicted as the early type of domesticated ram, with long corkscrew horns growing horizontally outwards from his head but in later times was represented by the same type of ram as Ammon, with horns curving inward towards him. Occasionally, he was depicted with four ram heads, representing sun god Ra, the air god Shu, the earth god Jeb, and Osiris the god of the underworld. In this form he was known as Sheftat, 